This is a quick exhibition of some of the features of the NEM blockchain, including aggregate transactions and uh, multi-sig relationships. We have uh, a retail bank and we have a family. We have Alice and Bob and their son, Junior. And Alice and Bob have some uh, money of their own in their wallets. And then they also have a shared account that either one of them can freely spend from or add to. And then there's also a trust that they've established for their son. And this trust is under a multi-sig relationship with the bank such that uh, if either one of them wants to make a transfer to Junior, the bank has to approve of that transfer happening. So we'll start with something very simple. Uh, Alice is just going to transfer $10 to Junior out of her own wallet. And we'll see that that has appeared on the right side here showing that this has been announced to the blockchain and it's awaiting confirmation. And then as soon as that gets confirmed, we'll see that Junior's balance goes up by 10 and Alice's goes down by 10. Now let's get to something a little bit more interesting. Let's say that we wanted to do a more complicated transfer. We wanted to have Alice send $500 from uh, the shared account and then also $500 from the trust and transfer that to Junior's account. Now, when I submit this, this is actually getting prepared as an aggregate transaction. And the, the key point for aggregate transactions in them is either that they all shall succeed together or they shall all fail together. So Alice is free to transfer money from the shared account to Junior without anybody else signing it. However, the bank has to sign the portion uh, for transferring out of the trust. So we can see that this is awaiting signature and if I now sign as the bank on this, what's happening now is when the signature gets added, this is announced to the chain, and now we'll see that this successfully processes, and then the transfer happens as, as one atomic step. The key thing here is that in the event that the bank did not approve of the transfer, then the money out of the shared account would not have gone in either. So this is useful in, in many, many different scenarios whenever you want to set up any kind of complicated transaction and you want to avoid the possibility of, say, partial payment or part of it going through and part of it failing. And then finally, uh, we can also change the signatory relationship completely. So let's say that when Junior turns 18, the control of the trust reverts completely to him and he's able to do whatever he wants with it. So we'll initiate that from the side of the bank. You can see that there's several things happening here. The bank is adding Junior as a signatory for the trust and it's removing itself and removing Alice and removing Bob. Bob has to approve this transaction, at which point it will be confirmed by the chain and uh, control will revert completely to Junior. So let's go ahead and sign that now and we'll see when that has processed that the trust has been transferred fully over to Junior's control and he's now able to do whatever he likes with it. So this entire demonstration was built on our very first prototype version of the Threshold platform. It was done in about a week's time and demonstrated uh, some of these unique capabilities that the NEM blockchain offers. And everything we've done in this demo uh, can be achieved through perfectly understandable, commonplace REST API web services that any developer is familiar with working with. Thank you.